Special shout out to our sponsor, the Best Western Premier Boulder Falls Inn of Lebanon, Oregon. Located at 505 Bones Drive in Lebanon. For more information, call 541-451-1000. Hey, hey, everybody, Russ here with Russ Reels Live on this Thursday, um, April 14th, and I am so excited. I didn't tell anybody this this morning. Today is my son's 29th birthday. My, oh, my. I think that I was actually a little bit younger than 29 when uh, we had my son uh, 29 years ago. So it is a super exciting day. Tonight, the family gets to get together. What is better than family? I love connection. I love people. And I have great people here today. But you know what? I love my family. And so happy birthday, Connor, to my son today. And I'm sure that he is not watching this right now. But that's okay. I'll say happy birthday anyway. So, hey, listen, I am so excited. I, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed with the friends that I have that are willing to come on and spend time with me talking about different things. Today, we're going to be come talking about overcoming challenges in your business. And this is one thing that I love about Russ Reels Live. This is a very topic-driven show. So we usually have great, great topics and incredibly, uh, incredibly awesome people with wisdom and great insight in uh, everything we're talking about. And today is definitely no different. We have a great group today. I've got a great, great big panel today of people. We're going to be talking about this. And I also just wanted to remind you that um, I, I love live streaming. I love connecting. And if you want to connect with me, first of all, you can go to RussHedge.com. I've got so many great things going on right now, but I just want to remind you anything you need, you can go to RussHedge.com, connect with me today. I would love to get to know you if I don't know you already, because you know I'm all about connection. This year, my goal is to connect with at least a thousand new people. I know that sounds like a daunting number, but really it's only about three people a day. So I'm just blowing that out of the water. I'm making new friends every day and I just love it. I love it. So if you want to be one of those people, I would love for you to connect with me at RussHedge.com. Also, I have many shows, but today I just want to highlight one show, uh, which is Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. The reason I'm bringing that up, because this coming Monday is my 200th episode. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. 200th episode. And I can't believe where time has gone. And pretty much everybody on the show today, in fact, I believe everybody on the show today has been on Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie, where we talk about how amazing people connect. I'm all about connection. I believe that connection and building community is the answer to life and to your business. And so that's really uh, what I focus on when I help people. Uh, But you know what? No matter what you're going through, everybody's going to struggle. Everybody's going to have some issues. So today we're going to talk about some of those problems people are having and how we overcome them. So I'm going to start bringing people in. I've talked enough. And I am just so excited for today. We're going to go ladies first, like we always do. First person we're going to bring in is my good friend, Gail Robertson. Gail is in the house. How's it going, Gail? It is great. (laughs) How are you? I am so good. You know, if I don't have enough energy, you definitely bring the energy. So that's (laughs) great. (laughs) You know what? It's kind of contagious too, you know, and and I know one of the speakers will be talking about this is that when you hang around with other really cool people and high energy people, you kind of absorb it. And then you need some people that are a little quieter, a little more subdued because <laughs> it's all balanced out. Because I said, Russ, we couldn't have a room full necessarily of people just like us. Because we not. might just, it would be like, boom, blow up. Kind of like mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. That is why Scott tries to offset me on the experience because I just go, woo, talk too much. And Scott's kind of the calm radio voice. And I'm kind of the woo all over the place guy. So anyway, hey, listen. You know, you are doing amazing things in business. First, let's just start off. We're going to bounce through everybody here to give everybody a little uh, idea of who you are and and what you do. Okay. Well, I start off by curiosity is my superpower. 
And I use that in a three-step process of sign up, suit up, and show up, specifically in manufacturing. So I work with a lot of people uh, in the manufacturing world and even niching down into specifically the plastics industries because there's a lot of uh, misinformation and lack of information and also a great reluctance for people to step up and you know share their great stories. And I'm also a recovering journalist, so I know a good story. I mean, it's like I can spot a good deal and I can spot a good story. So my Scottish <laughs> roots, I know the good deals. And so what I work with uh, those in manufacturing that are looking to, you know, step out into the spotlight, but sometimes they need a little help because they don't realize their great stories. Just came right. back from a trade show and, you know, I'm walking around talking to people and like, they don't realize, like they have cool things to share. So Yeah. Well, and that's a problem all within itself, which we'll talk about because really getting your, the, your message out there is huge. Speaking of getting your message out, the queen of video is with us today. Inger Van Roy is in the house. Woohoo! <laughs> she taught us all. She taught us all how to be on video. Yes, <laughs> sure, Russ. <laughs> Hello, Russ. Hello, Inger. Hey, it's so great to have you here. Give us a little snapshot of who you are. I mean, Gail and I know who you are, but give everybody else an idea of how awesome you are. Hello everyone, my name is Inga van Roy and I am recognized as being a networking ninja. Um, and why that is, is because I teach people how to begin networking by just investing a small amount of time every day. Um, thank you for having me here, Russ. Um, and everybody, I'm looking forward to the conversation. There we go. You know, and actually not really understanding networking is an issue all of its own, but we'll get on to that because Dave Chrysler is coming in the house. He's in next. Hello, Dave. Hello, everybody. So excited to be here with you guys. That's like the, the, these two are a tough act to follow, Russ. I mean, I, you know, thanks for letting me in, but tough <laughs> act to follow with these two. Well, it is true, but you know what? Do your best to let everybody know who you are and what you're up to. Yeah, thanks. Uh, my name is Dave Chrysler, and I own an operations consulting business working with manufacturing, construction, and cannabis leaders to help them create the systems needed to grow their business. So we talk about planning people, process, and technology, and leveraging those things to uh, ultimately achieve operational excellence throughout your business. Yeah, and planning and processes, there's a problem that many people deal with, but We'll get to that in just a moment. And now Mr. Russ Johns, the master of the pirate broadcast is coming in the house. Mr. Russ Johns, how's it going? Hey, thank you, Russ. Always a pleasure to hang out with a great group of individuals doing amazing work. And as I always say, kindness is cool. Smiles are free. And we all have a gift to share. So I, I, I look forward to this engagement and the opportunity to learn, to share, to teach, to grow and uh, be part of the community here. You bet. Hey, tell everybody a little bit about just quickly and how you uh, got into the pirate broadcast and into live streaming and the crazy great things you're doing in that. Well, I, I've been in uh, media and marketing since 1985 and, and technology took hold and I learned how to do all of this live streaming, podcasting technology from my radio days where I was actually live streaming high school varsity sports to AM radio. And so now I'm taking it and going the opposite direction and, and actually taking, uh, you know, video, audio, and combining all these words, images, audio, and video in the pirate syndicate to bring things together for individuals that need to be seen, to be heard, and be talked about. Because a lot of us don't know how to actually deal with the technology. They don't know how to deal with, the, you know, getting on screen or getting on camera and what to do, how to do it, and what the process is, and what's necessary. So that's part of the secret sauce that I bring to the table is developing that and helping others share their gifts so I can help more people help more people. Yeah, I love that. Help more people, help more people. And you are awesome at that. And, you know, that is troubles with technology and learning how what it takes to get online and do that can be a problem in your business. But before we get to that, we're going to bring in my co-host and good friend, Mr. D. Scott Smith, 
who's in the house, who is the solution to everybody's problem. Hey, Scott. Well, Scott, we can't hear you. That Good would be morning. A <laughs> there we go. There we awesome. go. Yeah. You're well, almost like, you know what you're doing. I am surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses here. <laughs> I tell you, if the if the zombie, uh, the business zombie apocalypse hits, uh, this is where I'm running right here. This with this crowd. <laughs> well, hey, Scott, give everybody a snapshot into you. And you are an amazing friend and and partner in live streaming with me. But uh, tell everybody really what you're up to and all the great things you're doing. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, so I am a motivational listener. In fact, I am the world's foremost authority on being a motivational listener because I'm the only one, and, <laughs> which is a great way to go. Me and Tigger, we're the only one. So <laughs> what does that mean? Well, let's see. Uh, my most recent publication is Influence, Creation of Credibility for Coaches and Consultants uh, who aren't Seth Godin uh, or Malcolm Gladwell whose uh, reputation doesn't precede them, we need to have credibility. And so Influence Creation of Credibility is a, a, a book on Amazon, uh, but there's also a course inside of it, a free course, to publish a book, online course, and webinar in 12 weeks or less. And so uh, I want everyone to have that. Uh, the book before that was Relationships, Grow Your Business, which is a structure and method for business networking. Well, and anybody that needs help with writing books, Scott is definitely your man because he has got a great system. And you know, one of his other co-hosts who we're going to all be on with tomorrow <laughs> morning on the global tree break, Mr. Alan Hennessy here late at night woo, in Dublin is here. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. Going, good Alan? morning, everyone. It's good evening there, but it's good morning here. <laughs> it's yes. just gone well, Alan, well. thanks so much, even at this crazy hour, for joining us. Give everybody a little snap, snapshot of who you are and uh, give a little plug for the Global Tea Break. As it says over there, or there, or over there, or whatever it is, it's the Global Tea Break. Yes, it is Alan Hennessy, the digital mentor. And You'll have to excuse me because I've been traveling all day and I haven't shaved or anything. I'm just literally, um, and I'm in about an hour or two. So, uh, yeah. Um, Alan Hennessy, the uh, digital mentor, yeah, helping you navigate uh, the digital landscape. Yes. And uh, that's what I do. Also, the co founder, uh, along with uh, D. Scott Smith, of the Global Tea Break happening tomorrow, Good Friday, on a Friday because we're loving it and we connect and with everyone worldwide and we have been doing for the last oh life it feels like a lifetime but it's been just a joy uh, i suppose the last two years now we're just we're awesome and it's uh it's just a great place to connect so yeah guys so delighted to be here russ and uh, privileged and honored and uh, even at this uh, early hours of uh, friday morning here for me in dublin <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, it's 15 after 12 here, so, and uh, that's wow. the way it is, you know. <laughs> I'd be snoring. I'd be snoring if it was well, I will time be, for me. I will be in about 10 minutes because I literally <laughs> came in and I had to record a radio show, which is due to go out tomorrow. So I had to do that, and then I jump it onto this. So it's been all go. But anyway, sure we're here, what? and it's all good. I wanted to get you in real quick, you know, and uh, we appreciate you so much. And, you know, another person, if we have not had enough energy already, Coach David Verdu is in the house, my good friend, ready to roll. How's it going, Coach? What is going on, guys? You guys hey, hey. are you guys are amazing. I'm like, I get to learn tonight. <laughs> hey, my name is Coach David Verdu, and I've been in education for 34 years. And now I get the awesome privilege of going to schools and teaching character development. So I go from preschool to the university and I go in and I teach them that life, how precious and how important it is and how powerful your words are and be good. That's it. That's what I do. It's the greatest job in the world. I travel, I get there. They think I'm uh, uncle fun. I, I share with them. Um, listen, think, Use your brain before you do things. It's very simple. 
And so I'm excited because um, I want to go about what we're talking about in a total different direction, but you're going to love it. I promise. So <laughs> when we get started on that, I want to share with you. Uh, well, I can't tell you yet. It's awesome. But okay, okay go ahead. Your turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you so much. You know, we are going to circle back. And, you know, Gail, a lot of people struggle with systems in manufacturing. A lot of people, I mean, people in manufacturing, a lot of times don't really know how to market and get the word out about their products. What's the number one thing that you deal with in all that you're doing with your clients? The biggest challenge. Okay. I think the biggest challenge is still a reluctance to embrace the power of digital and the power of social to uh, get out there and share manufacturing stories. Even though the same people are using social media and digital in other parts of their life, and they somehow still want to separate, they think B2C is different than B2B. And I like to say it's really about H to H. It's human to human. That's what's really important. And so... Uh, that's probably the biggest challenge is a mindset. So with my three steps, it's sign up, suit up and show up. And before I work with anyone, I we work on the sign up. You have to first make that decision that you want to change and you're willing to, uh, you know, step into the spotlight, so to speak. And you will have great things happen when you do that. So that's the biggest challenge is, is the mindset. Well, and don't you find too that just getting people to show up and, you know, being consistent in whatever they're doing to get in their message out there is so vital. It's so important. And, you know, you have somebody you've worked with, Inger Van Roy, who is amazing at getting the word out. And, Inger, what do you find that people struggle with the most? I think um, what people struggle with the most, especially in business, is knowing people that can help them. Um and what I teach people is how to grow that community and how to tap into it because I believe in a principle that is, it's an African-based principle and it, it, is, it is Ubuntu. And Ubuntu means that I am because we all are. And the reason why I'm such a great advocate for this principle is because I have seen it with my very eyes. I've seen it happen for me, for others, around me just because of the people that they know that they are that are, they have in their circle they've grown so much so that's what i think is the biggest challenge well you know it's interesting because um, ubuntu as far as because we are portion community building community coming together working together because we are a person that has been so vital in that and he has to leave early i know i'm going to bring alan in because Alan is um, amazing with what he's done in bringing people together in the global tea break with Scott and other things that he's doing. Alan, tell us a little bit about how you see that as a positive that overcomes issues that people are having, whether it's isolation or whatever. Yeah, I think it's very important. I think especially uh, 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 look, over the last two years, what we've been through has been crazy and been able to share that and that experience and that, you know, the whole idea of what we went through over the last couple of years is bringing a community together where, you know, as I've always said, and I say it every time, is, is, you know, geography is history. We don't need to be in the same room as each other. We don't need to be in the same city. We can be just around the world and we can connect and we can build them relationships. And, like, that's what we've done. And, like, we've seen it with the Global Tea Break. I've seen it with other groups that I've come um, developed and created and communities that have been sort of grown every day and it's grown because we're nurturing them we are all nurturing it's not just one individual is in is nurturing this it's the whole community and everyone's feeling that they're in this safe place and they're able to you know if they don't understand something they don't know something they want to learn something they ask the question and likewise and we're, i think we're all doing that every day and i think that is where as you know as gail says it's about showing up and it's about being committing. It's committing to that. And when you start doing that, you start building a community of people, incredible people from around the world that you're learning from their experience. You're also taking, you know, your experience and sharing it with them. And I think this is just the absolute, the time 
now i think has right. come so it's so important now that we're actually all starting to realize this and we're and i see people and i've noticed it over the change over the last you know year or so where people are more inclined and they're more open to coming into communities like that and i think that is you know something that's really starting to grow and flourish within everyone and you know and i think that's that's really really powerful yeah, well, you know, it is, uh, I think it's so true. I think we've learned so much through the challenges of COVID. And I love your, I love your rebranding the digital mentor because you have so much wisdom to bring to people and help them. And speaking of wisdom and helping overcome things, Mr. Russ Johns has been on top of people like you, Alan and Scott, and pretty much all of you here today has been such a huge positive force in my life and all that he's doing. Russ, how are you really helping people get past that digital freeze, the, the, the problems with trying to get online and do things and live streaming and everything that it entails? It almost goes back to what Ingor was saying, where you have, um, you have to know somebody that is able to help you and you're able to trust their perspective because we all have a different view on what needs to happen next. And, you know, I may not be right for everyone and we, we may be the perfect person for the next individual that's searching for that help. And the only way we're going to get to the place where we can assist and support each other is by learning about each other. And, you know, the technology is getting easier every day. You know, 20 years ago when I started, you know, doing a lot of this kind of work, there was a lot more involved, a lot more required, and, uh, and a lot more technology that was necessary to, to get from you know nothing to something. And now it's getting easier and easier. And so now the, the challenge is knowing what help you need, because a lot of people don't know what the next step is. So building a strategy to get yourself in a position to be comfortable producing a show or putting yourself out there or creating a blog post, or creating a, a live stream, or a podcast, or any of these uh, types of events. The necessary thing is being comfortable and knowing that you have a message and a gift that you're going to share, and then finding the right people to assist and support you in building that up and producing an outcome. And uh, it's no different than the first conversations that we had, Russ, you know, where you're just doing a little Q&A, you're learning a little bit, you're picking up some knowledge, you go out and test it. And there, there's nothing wrong with failing fast and, and doing it next, because we're all going through the same process of learning and growing and achieving our results. Yeah, you know, I think that that's one thing that people need to remember is that everybody has so much value and that people sell themselves short. There's a lot of imposter syndrome running around. They're thinking, well, who would want to listen to me? Who cares about what I have to say? You know, people care. When you uh, put out an authentic and real self, people are really uh, captivated by that. doesn't yeah. matter what industry you're in. And uh, you have done such a great job. And, you know, David, I'm going to jump to you. David Chrysler, I'm going to jump to you. Because, you know, in the industry you're in, it's not always natural to do the marketing video thing right and you've really stepped out and been able to help others in that area where it really can be a struggle yeah i mean uh you know i'll be the first person to admit that uh i was not super excited <laughs> or uh you know fell into the uh category of that imposter syndrome when it came to being on camera hearing my voice for the first time on a podcast and creating content thinking, you know, I, I think Gail kind of said it like best, like who wants to listen to me? Like what stories could I possibly share with people that they would find not only relevant, but interesting, you know? And um, yeah, it's been a real process for me. I, I, I love it now though. I mean, this is so natural and comfortable to be um, connecting with people and I think that's the secret, right? You show up, you're authentic. I'm me, you know, I might not be everybody's cup of tea, uh, you know, but that's who I am, you know? And so you do find these opportunities have 
really genuine conversations and it's really been the most fun that I've had kind of throughout my professional life is, is, you know, doing things like this, right? <laughs> Which again, two years ago, three years ago, I would have never uh, thought that I would, you know, be on a live show uh, with so many amazing people and be connected, genuinely connected. And I'm not just talking about things that drive business. I'm talking about having genuine connections with people um, that I consider, you know, some lifelong friends that I've only met by putting myself out there. And I would have never had that opportunity had I not just kind of conquered those fears, put in the work, because that's a failure point I find with a lot of people is it's easy to, you know, kind of put up some roadblocks in your own way, but you have to yep. put in the work, you have to show up. And you have to be genuine in your efforts to want to help other people. And right. by doing that, I've, I've, you know, been very fortunate to connect with an amazing community of people. Um, you know, you and I connected that way. Uh, many of the other people on this panel, I've connected that way. And so I feel very fortunate, very thankful uh, to, you know, to have kind of gone through this experience. Yeah. I mean, I, love connection. You all know that. And I consider all of you amazing friends. And this is what I love about building community is we come together, we help each other, we refine each other. It is all through this network that we are blessed with every day. And, you know, Scott, you are a networking genius and have always been able to bring people together even before COVID. And a lot of what I do, I owe to you. Uh, give us the number one issue that you're dealing, that you're helping people overcome in their business today. Well, again, thanks, Russ. You, you are just an amazing friend and partner. Uh, I just can't imagine what I would do uh, without you. So uh, thanks for your friendship. And what I see right now is a, a, it's a lot of being constrained uh, artificially. And, and that is we just do things the way they've done, or we're trying to fit what we used to do in an analog world into a digital world. And we just need to think differently. Um, but I'll just say uh, when I met Alan, I met Alan uh, in 2016 when I was over in, in Ireland speaking at the Social Media Summit, my topic there was the psychology and physiology of relationships and took the academic research and proved that the relationships that we create digitally, like Russ Johns and I have never met. And yet uh, I know that if I walk into the same room with, with Russ Johns, uh, we will embrace, not have a handshake right? Because we've created that kind of relationship. So uh, academically, I looked and said, the relationships that we create digitally can be just as strong as those we create face to face. And this worldwide laboratory that we've been in for the last two years has proven that, right? That hypothesis has been found to be true. Yeah. So don't just try to take what we used to do and try to fit it in this new world. Figure out what are the new ways that we can uh, work. And so working with someone like Gail, who's going to bring in a completely different perspective into your manufacturing business, into your plastics world, you need to do that. Don't just try to pull the old stuff off the shelf and shove it into the hole. Find new stuff that is experience transformation, right? Change is just substituting one thing for another, but transformation transformation is a new material or new structure. And that's where we need to be. Yeah, I think I love that word, you know, and I, I'm using that in one of my new, uh, my new programs, but transformation, you know, it's amazing. There's so much greatness inside of each one of us. God's created us with amazing talents and abilities. And I tell you, coach David Verdu is build up uh, people all around him. And uh, David, what have you run into as one of the biggest challenges that you have to overcome in all that you do? Uh, you got, listen, I can't, 
This is this is where Uncle Fun comes because you guys <laughs> gave all the answers. I get to put it all together, and then I get to start the game. It's that's what <laughs> coaches do. So check this out. Everything that these teammates said is an absolute truth. The thing is, is you've got to learn how to overcome. So you have to overcome, overcome. Say that twice fast. You, <laughs> if you don't overcome, overcome, then you'll never overcome. It's it's now. How do we do that? You get in the game. Now, hey, mommy, mommy, mommy. I want to learn how to swim. Boop, throw in the water. That's how I learned how to swim. You got to get in. If there's a calling and you want to do it, don't be a shoulda. Ah, you're 70 now. I shoulda. My next T-shirt. Don't shoot on yourself. No. you. If you're going to do it, go. Make that jump. Do everything. This panel and even what Alan said, there are thousands of people that can help you. Not, not like back in the day when we used to have to. Remember that, Alan? Would, or Russ? How you put your finger in the little thingy mahui and you had to turn it and that was your number, right? We don't have that now. If you want to do something, get in the water. Right. I love, and you started it, Russ, you had said that everyone and all of us have been made unique. That's correct. Now, what is Jesus calling you to do? Get in the water. Stop splashing around with the ducks and get in the water. Let's yeah. go. I totally, I am totally all about that because one, the number one issue that I find people have is they don't start. They do not start. They think, they mutter, they plan, they worry, they stress, and they don't start. They don't get going. They don't show up. They don't start because they're worried of what the outcome is going to be there. They are afraid of what might happen. And uh, Alan, since you're still here and we're going to, we're going to probably lose you at some point, I want to bring you on again. Do you find that a lot of times it's just getting people going, pulling out of them what they really need to uh, what they really need to make things happen is one of the biggest struggles. One of the one of the biggest things, one of the biggest struggles is that people are afraid to, you know, as as David has says, you know, they're afraid to jump in that water. But once they literally jump in, they go, oh, this is not as hard as I thought it was. But I think it's it's about that literally that stepping off and just going right let's let's go let's do this because look i think for for years people used to say you know oh it has to be perfect before it can go live or it has to be this or it has to be that no it doesn't it doesn't and, and we've proved that and you know time and time again you see so many people now online that are just showing up they're being their authentic selves you know and people have empathy they want to see that more and i think where they actually do this is is that you know it's about stepping stepping up just literally just kind of taking that first step and saying okay that was easy and it's a where i come into it is is i try to help them i say you know look don't be trying to take huge steps take small baby steps get there you, you know, stick your toe in the water, see what you think. If you like it, you know, put that foot in. And I think that's what people are starting to do. I know I've, I'm have i talking and I'm working with a number of clients now. And like that, that's what I'm teaching them is, is like, you know, look, these are all the opportunities. And it's only when they start to see these opportunities that are in front of them that they go, why haven't I been doing this 10 years ago? It's, right. you know, and Yet again, like I spoke on a previous podcast a while back about social proof and social currency. And that builds, that builds, but it only builds when you start to actually do it. Like, Russ, you're the master of this. You know, like I know anytime we're on a call and there's a number of people around, I can be guaranteed Russ will have connected with them all before the, the call is even finished. And that's about... That's about that building that community. And, you know, I've learned so much from Russ. I've learned so much from everyone in this room. You know, nobody, I don't, I think, 
knows it all, but what we all do is, is we all bring something to the table. And when we bring that something to the table, the people that are around us start to learn from it and they start to get so much, you know, value from it and help. And they don't feel, I, I think the days of intimidation and the days of feeling nervous about going online are gone. People are starting to say, yes, I'm interested in this. I know there's more than just what's in my immediate community. It's, right. you know, I can go worldwide now and I can see everybody and I can connect with everyone. You know, I mean, that's that's one of the big things. So, yes, definitely. It's about, you know, sticking your toe in the water and starting to go and say, yeah, let's have a go at this. You'd be well, amazed at what happens, you know. And sometimes, too, just like uh, Coach said, we just need to jump in the water and get going. Mm. When we started live streaming, Alan, you were there and others and Russ, John's and other people that gave us advice and helped us and did things. I mean, I was on online with Alan and he was doing our background and doing stuff before we were going to go on the next day. And it was like, but well, we just jumped forward and did it. And, you know, I think that's amazing. Inger, you, the lover of video, we, you and I had this great <laughs> chat a while ago and, you know, I, yes, I did encourage you along with many other people because you had the, you had the willingness to step forward and do something that was not in your wheelhouse really as far as what you were expecting to do and what did you find how easy it was or how difficult it was to overcome those things once you got started um you know i have to tell you this i just looked it up and that was your 114th episode ah. <laughs> june june 24th 2021 which was 294 days ago not that wow. long not that long um and you know it's always difficult to step out of your comfort zone and for me I've always found that I really do hate video <laughs> you may not believe me but I really do um there's many days when I I show up on a zoom call and I'm so tempted to not turn on my camera. Um, and Gail can tell you there are times when I actually don't turn on my camera <laughs> because I am not camera ready. But the thing is, you know, the only way to grow is to step out of your comfort zone. Right. So that's, and it's difficult. It's it's not easy because at the end of the day, when you when you even put your big toe out of your comfort zone, you're confronted by fear. We're all, we're all in the same position. And, you know, video is more comfortable for some than for others. And anything, that's with anything. But at the same time, if you don't step out of your comfort zone, you're going to remain stagnant. And the right. only constant is change. That's why we need to grow. We need to step out of our comfort zone and learn and, and develop and, we, and evolve into who we should be the best yeah. version of ourselves. Well, and that's amazing too, because, you know, we all, uh, it, it's the supportive community and, you know, helping each other out that yeah. gives us strength to do so many things. You know, we, it, one of the, we're all going to mess up. We're all going to fail. We're going to jump on after doing video for years and Scott's going to jump on without his mic on and whatever, you <laughs> know, it just, it happens to all of us. Yeah. We all have issues. The other day I was on, a marketing with Russ and I had a computer issue and it went crazy and Inger had to take the show over <laughs> because I completely lost it. Thank God she was there is all I got to say. She was there on the show. So she took over, but you know, Gail, you started working with Inger early on and you saw the transformation of what she went through. I just love again, that word transformation, stepping out, showing up mm -hmm. helps you to overcome and transform. Does. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that Ingrid and I share is, you know, when we're working with people, because we've done some work together working in manufacturing and, you know, you ask, I think one of the biggest roadblocks for people is also that, you know, perfection. We've talked a bit about that. And, and I often have said this, I've learned this is that, you know, perfection is the enemy of good because we sometimes focus so much on that perfection and people really want us just to show up as we are, who we are, that's the kind of people that we, you know, can identify with. Um, and 
uh, there's a term that uh, our friend Damon Pastulka uses, you know, you want to be the red M&M in the bowl of green. Yes. And one of my clients just recently uh, was the only Canadian mold maker at this trade show. And I, you know, it comes down to, okay, so what happened? Did they fail miserably or did they succeed tremendously? And they actually succeeded tremendously because they were the red M&M. And once people can start connecting those dots between, you know, stepping out and it's not always easy being that red M&M at first because you have a, we have, a, we're taught to, you know, feel insecure about all that. But once you get past that and can feel comfortable stepping out, it will do wonders for your business. And you'll also find other red M&Ms in the world um, that want to be that, uh, that are standing out, stepping out. And, uh, you know, as I like to say, own your power because that's where the power is when you show up. And that's the first yes. step because once you show up, the magic happens after that. Yeah. I've always wanted to be the red M&M. Um, I, uh, <laughs> you are, you are. <laughs> I'm surprised my mom didn't make me a red M&M suit when I was little because she was always making them. We had these book parades. And so one year I, we were the dish and the spoon, my sister and I, you know, you'd be characters from books. I'm surprised I would never had to be an M&M, but um, <laughs> it, uh, no, you know, really it is a lot of times people like us, Gail, mm. that are, that are full of energy and outgoing. People will say, well, don't number one. I mean, aren't you, are you ever negative? Are, are you ever nervous? I'm like, uh, yep. I'm, mm -hmm. and there's times I'm down negative. There's times that I'm nervous. I get out to do something and just out of the blue, I'll be all nervous for to speak in front of people or do something. It happens to all of us, but it's a matter of pushing through that. That's where we overcome. And, uh, you know, I think David, that you working with these two ladies in the manufacturing industry, you've seen all that they've done as well, but, you really uh, have done great things breaking into uh, helping others get the word out, be visible and not be afraid of doing these things they need to with their business. Yeah, I mean, it's been a ton of fun. And, you know, specifically in in the manufacturing vertical, um, you know, it's it's kind of the it's one of the reasons that I love it, uh, not just because that's really where where my experience lies, but it's it's real people. And, you know, they're they're trying to push their business forward. And, you know, whether we're talking about process or we're talking about, you know, sales and marketing, they're always looking for those different ways to kind of push through. And I think Gail was the one that kind of said it earlier. You know, when you're in that environment and you make really cool stuff, you just get used to it. Like, like kind of what I said, you know, who wants to hear me? What, what kind of relevant story could I possibly have to tell about the things that I've seen and the things that, you know, I've helped make and the, you know, the impact that I've had with people. And so it, it very much takes people like Gail and Inger to kind of open your eyes to that and see it from a different lens. Because when you're in it every day, you touch it every day, you think it's boring. You think it's like, well, who wants to, you know, and, and so the best way to frame that if you're not already working with people like Gail and Inger uh, is, you know, why, why is the show, uh, you know, how is it made so popular, right? Like, why does Mike Rowe have a show that crushes it on, you know, mm -hmm. dirty jobs? It's because people are interested in this stuff. And when you attach a story to it and it's a personal story and you're, you're show up as your authentic self and you can, um, you know, articulate and, you know, kind of reinforce via video and the words that you're using, it just becomes so powerful and it's such a cool breakthrough to see. Um, and again, it, it happens kind of at all aspects, you know, um, I really don't deal with the sales and marketing side. I'm more on the operations side, but even, even if we're talking operations and we're talking about, you know, how do you break through, right? Like, how do you start? How do you continue? Uh, you know, with some of that improvement, it, it's all the same, right? Like you right. plan, you do, you review, revise, repeat, right? Like no matter what we're talking about. So it's that constant iterative process to get you out of your comfort zone, to recognize that you do have a unique voice, even if there's, you know, a thousand other Canadian mold manufacturers, they have a unique voice. They show up in a unique way. Their personalities will be different if you put your voice out there. Yeah. Right. And it's just, it's a matter of putting your voice out there. It's a matter of just stepping forward, even when you don't feel like you have that. And Russ Johns, I love help people help more people. 
because your whole thing is helping others to help others overcome and move through these challenges they're having. Well, as you know, Russ, and, and thank you all the gratitude in the world for this group coming together and you orchestrating this event, because I, I know that every one of us has had that cringe factor when <laughs> we first listen to ourselves being recorded or see ourselves on camera. And so applaud to everyone here and everybody out there that is taking those steps forward and moving toward a goal. And like Dave just said, we are all unique. We are all individuals. So even if I'm speaking uh, the same thing, the same way, uh, my personality or my uh, the way I present or the way I uh, come across is going to be unique to me. And that's the beauty of what we're doing right now is, is being able to transform who we are and share that information with others around us. And like Scott said earlier, you know, this is a global landscape now. This is not, you know, we can't go down to the, to the, to the networking event and, and expect everything to happen. We're now able to go around the world and meet new people from everywhere, all walks of life, all ideas, new perspectives, and learn. We cannot teach. And David Verdu would appreciate this. You cannot teach without learning. That's right. So become a motivational listener like Scott right. and make sure that you're hearing to understand, not to respond. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the gift that we can continue to do and support each other with and, and the ideas that we can express and continue to share, whether we're doing it video, audio, words, images, whatever method we choose to. Stories are in our DNA and, and tell it in a story, express it in a way that's unique to you and continue to allow people to learn from what you're doing because it's we can't take it with us. Okay. Share as much okay. as you can. Well, and, and Scott, that whole listening factor um, is how we learn and grow, how we overcome by learning uh, from what's going on in our lives. Life is a journey, right? And we're learning every step of the way. I was talking to somebody earlier today. You know, whether good or bad circumstances are happening to us, we're learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's no limit to what we can accomplish when we network the supercomputers between our ears. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Collaboration. Yeah, you, yeah. Russ, you, you have well, uh, Russ Johns, well stated. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the pow power of video. So I like the audio podcasting. But there's something about video that allows us to transfer emotion that we can't do in the written word, whether it's tweets or blogs or even audio. There's something about video. And uh, just to go way back, uh, when I was with Hewlett Packard, one of the last projects that I was involved in was ultra high-end video conferencing that we built in cooperation with DreamWorks. And DreamWorks of course, is really good about making 2D things look better than they should, right? The, the screen. And uh, Hewlett Packard was able to build this, this uh, beautiful worldwide network. And I remember I was running logistics operations at the time. We had a deal uh, going on with, with uh, operations in Israel uh, with customs issues. And email after email after email, nothing was getting resolved. Now, these uh, this... Uh, video conferencing that we had was called Halo. It was the internal name for the studios. I walked into a Halo studio in Oregon. Uh, a couple of my colleagues in Israel walked into their studio. It was like this. We were having uh, a video conferencing. We were eyeball to eyeball. And in 20 minutes, we solved a problem that had been going on for months because of the power of video. And so, uh, Take advantage of that today and expand your network. When I talk to people about their networks, I guarantee every person here has a fabulous network filled with remarkable people who want you to succeed. Right. They just need to know what problem you solve and who your ideal customer is. Right. Well, and David, you're working with the youth of America 
as they come into this whole new age, it's, it's just the norm for them. Um, and, uh, but they are like all of us, they are on a journey learning as they go overcoming as well. That's right. And you know, that next generation, when it comes to podcast and all the cast and your TV casting and the cast stuff, <laughs> they're going to be amazing at it. My concern is topic oriented. Is it going to be something constructive or destructive? That's, that's it. There's nothing, this was all, this was all a constructive building a beautiful tower is what we do. That's what we did tonight because everything's two things. It's either constructive or destructive. What are you doing? So what we did tonight was we built a platform where we built a, a, a building um, that still isn't complete. It still needs to be filled, but so far so good. Because we started, if you start, that's when it, you know, you build the foundation and hard part is, you know, I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind painting. Who doesn't mind painting? It's setting up to paint that sucks and then putting it away. What? No, I didn't want to do that. It's not the painting. It's not. So what I'm saying is this. Your preparation is everything. You guys ready for another t-shirt? Remember the first one. Don't shoot on yourself. Here's your next t-shirt. Practice. If practice was fun, they would have called it a game. Well, so, they <laughs> spoken like a true, true coach on that one. For sure. Yes. And you know, that I, is the preparation of life, right? It's, it's something that we all struggle with. And so, yeah. uh, listen, man, this has been so awesome. But I want to give everybody a chance for last word and uh, let everybody know how to get in touch with you. Now, the information is in the show notes, but I want you guys to give your contact information. But give everybody your last little tidbit of what you want them to go away remembering tonight. Inger, we're going to start with you first. Oh, my gosh. I was just trying to get my thought together, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're well, always ready. Come on. <laughs> well, um, I'd like to share an African proverb with you all. And it goes like this. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Oh, gosh, that's so good. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> And no, uh, you can reach yeah, me on LinkedIn uh, through my LinkedIn profile, which I'm tagged here. So. Yes, you are. And it's magically appearing in the comments as we are talking, too. And thanks to Ever. Everybody uh, here, let's get everybody back on screen. Just take a moment and let's all wave and say thank you, Ever. Thank, thank you. you. She's amazing. Yes, working in the background, making this all happen, making me look like I know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> next. Gail, you're up next. <laughs> Hi, thanks, because I just wrote in a note, I said I have to sign off, but thank you. I'm, I'm able to say goodbye to everyone. And I would say, you know, uh, one of the, the key parts for everyone uh, is to remember my saying is, I always say, I may not be your cup of tea, but I may be your shot of tequila. So maybe you can come up with a saying like that. And that's what I want everybody to take away is that, you know, be your own shot, be your own whatever it is to stand out and, and be curious and the other quote I want to mention is from, it's a Walt Whitman quote, but it became popular with Ted Lasso. And it's, be curious, not judgmental. And if we had more of that in the world, then that's going to help us tell stories and also have a kinder world and be able to do great things. Because when we're all like joining in together and not being as mean spirited, we can have great growth as well. That's right. That's yes, right. absolutely. And I think no. that uh, I may not be your cup of tea, but I may be your shot of tequila. That's a t-shirt too. There we go. So, <laughs> so, I'm, just, hey, I'm not thanks. being rude, but I'm going to sign off, but I'm going to be listening on my phone. So thanks everyone. And thank you, Russ. Thank you for doing well, this. You're a great well, man. Oh. Dale. Don't go, don't go. Russ, take a selfie. Oh, oh yes. my goodness. Oh. We got to do a selfie. That's right. I, okay, before I, you go, that's right. I look Here like Casper, the ghost. Oh. I don't know why. You fixed my know. studio. <laughs> you fixed my you. studio. We'll leave it to Inger. Leave Inger to be ready. Okay, I got to turn my light off. I can't see. I'm Here we go. Concerned. 
<laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Smile. Okay. You look lovely. <laughs> there you go. Get myself turned back around. I'm going to do, I want to do one more thing here before we go, before I do, let's see here. What am I, how am I going to do this? I need to get a bigger shot of you guys. I want to take a screenshot, but now I am not. Okay. Never mind. It's going to be too hard. I'm going to do it this way. Everybody I'll smile. I'm going to do it. <laughs> or are you going to do it, Gail? I yeah, I did. Are you okay, going to do it, Inger? Do you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here Everybody we go. smile. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Send Inger. me a copy of that. Thanks, okay. everybody. Can I move? Bye, Gail. See you, Gail. Bye. Can I move I'm now? Feeling like, I'm, I'm really feeling like Brian Shulman at the moment, you know, posing for <laughs> screenshots and done? selfies and all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, Coach, hey, you're good. Coach, you're move? good. Yeah, Inger, send that to my press agent. We'll be good. <laughs> I will. You gotta hey, tell me. Alan not, has to jump cool. because it's like two in the morning. We're gonna let Alan go oh, next. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, thanks for um, having me on tonight. Even though, um, yeah, it's late, but here and ever. But look, I, I, what I say to people is, is you know, remember. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And play. You have to just, you know, keep going. You've got to. Just keep going on it. Don't and don't be afraid to just get in there and just Come you know on. try it and have fun. You know what I mean? Have fun yeah. along the way. It doesn't have to be hard. It's supposed to be fun, and that's how we are. And that's the way people want to see you. They want to know you and they want to connect with you, not with some character that you draw up. You have to be you. You have to be, you know, come with everything in hand and uh, that's just the way it is so guys thanks so much uh thanks again uh russ for inviting me on and uh looking forward to seeing everyone tomorrow for the global tea break um so yeah all good and we're always can get a hold of you on linkedin and oh you'll find me just google just google alan alan hennessy <laughs> or you'll find me on linkedin if you want to connect with me the best places to find me is always linkedin or on twitter um i will always connect with you there so um yeah please do i would look forward to talking to everyone as well and globalteabreak.com tomorrow, globalteabreak.com. Go on there. You can sign up 7 a.m. Pacific daylight time. I know it's, I know what time ours is. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Alan, thank you so much. And Mr. Russ Johns, you're up next. Well, as I said, Russ, thank you so much for getting this together and bringing these uh, amazing individuals to the party. And, as you may know, my I always I always close the the events out with kindness is cool and smiles are free because I want you to enjoy your day and that's that's going to be consistent throughout the rest of my life and so I just love being here. I've learned a lot. I I, I look forward to connecting in the future and uh, continuing to share what I know, share what I can. And help as many people help more people help more people. Nice, right? That's so awesome. And best way to get a hold of you, Russ? Uh, LinkedIn is the number one spot. And if you want to talk and you want to chat, you can go to bookrust.com and book the time. Awesome. And you are just building an amazing community around live streaming, and we'll continue to work together and support each other. Thank you for that. And uh, David Chrysler, you are up next. Well, thanks, Russ. Uh, and again, like everybody else, uh, such a pleasure to be here. Appreciate the, the uh, invitation. And it's just been an awesome, uh, an awesome live stream. So uh, for me, I'll, I'll leave I'll leave everybody with a favorite quote of mine. It really speaks to not only what I believe, but uh, how I run my business, how I help other businesses. And that is a bad system will beat a good person every time. And uh, you can apply this quote to any aspect of your business. When you create systems, planning people, process technology, when you create them, when you implement them throughout your business, it is really what will help your business drive forward. And uh, again, can be applied to every aspect of your business. So if you're struggling to show up, 
Uh, if you're struggling to create content, you can create a system around that that helps you show up authentically, that helps you schedule and, and push content out and get you more comfortable. Uh, same thing on the operation side. So again, this is something that can be applied uh, throughout your business. And so it's, it's, it's one of my all-time favorite quotes. Uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn, on Twitter. Those are my two main platforms. So I, I, I would love to connect, love to have a conversation. And uh, again, happy to uh, happy to jump on a call um, with with just about anybody. So I enjoy connecting with people and learning about uh, you know themselves and and what they've got going on. So thanks again for having me, Ross. You bet. And, you know, systems are so vitally important and that, you know, when you're authentic in yourself, you are able to create content and systems that really uh, benefit others. And so many people here have done that, including Mr. D. Scott Smith, who is the king of book systems. So uh, Atomic Habits, who wrote Atomic Habits? It's just a James Clear. James Clear <laughs> says, yep. uh, "We don't rise to the level of our goals; we fall to the level of our systems." Right. And so, Dave, thank you so much for uh, just emphasizing that fact. Uh, another quote I'll give you uh, from the manufacturing world: uh, Edwards Deming. Uh, he was the American engineer who uh, was rejected by the U.S. car manufacturers. Went over and helped Toyota create the Toyota system that is so world famous in the manufacturing world. Uh, he said that change is not necessary because survival is not mandated. Yeah. Hmm. Change Pretty is not good. necessary. Survival is not mandated. So embrace the change. And I know that not everybody is like me and seeks out and embraces change. Uh, but we need to do that. And um, so anyway, there's a lot more <laughs> around change that we can talk about. Um, but you can find me, dscottsmith.com. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, dscottsmith, and scott at dscottsmith.com. Just reach out and uh, let's connect. I'd love to have a chat. I believe that one conversation can change your life or change your business. Nice. Awesome. Well, I completely agree with you and to wrap it up mr coach david verdu nice. you're on hey guys thank you so much it's awesome to be in a room of full of champions and so i want to leave you this uh i got two things for you the first one is remember always to think before you do anything is it true is it helpful is it inspiring is it necessary and is it kind you can use that for anything is it true are you supposed to um is it is it helpful? Is it going to help? Are you inspiring? One of my favorite quotes is inspire people to influence others. That's what we love to do. Is it necessary? Is it kind? You guys, you're all champions. Just think about that. Think. And then since all of these scholars left a book quote, I would like to also leave a book quote. <clears throat> I do not like green eggs and ham. Dr. Seuss, 1970s. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just I love you, Coach. You're awesome. All right. Well, listen, I I think I got everybody. I don't think I did. Did I forget anybody? I think we got it covered. So <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. I know that I'll see some of you tomorrow morning on the global tea break. Uh, don't forget, everybody. I am so excited and looking forward to that. Please show up for my 200th episode oh, of Marketing awesome. with Rustic Monday, 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Woo! It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to be whipping people in and out, and it's going to be so much fun. Uh, 200 episodes, lots of people, uh, lots of blessings on my life. And you all bless me more than I could ever say so thank you so much each one of you and i'm going to send you guys out to the green room and wrap it up so thank you so much again and we'll see you soon see you soon thank you if i can slowly but surely get everybody out keep waving coach there you go <laughs> scott just sits there smiling okay well, listen 
Rust Reels Live is a great show because we get around great topics that really interest so many of you and help make our lives better because we are better together. It is true. It is a proven fact. We can come together through live streaming, through community, digital community, or together in person, however you do that, and help build each other up, make each other better. And today I want to encourage you to do that. I want you, I want to encourage you to spread kindness because as Russ John says, kindness is cool, smiles are free. And so that is how you go out and enjoy your day every day. Wake up and love life and get out there and just make things amazing because it's up to you. Remember what I always say, you can live the life you choose. Life happens, but then you choose and you can choose to be positive and make amazing things happen. Don't forget next Monday, 8 a.m. Pacific daylight time marketing with Russ, my 200th episode until then have a great day and a great life thanks everybody see ya